Hello guys, my name is Michael and today we are going to learn how to install GTK4. As you already know, the GTK4 got released and now let me gtk.org. If we check the gtk.org uh, website, they said the latest stable version it is 4.0. Three. Anyway, uh, I'm not. I, I think that there is no um, distribution which uh, provide you at this moment um, the GTK4 through its uh, manager, but uh, package manager. But uh, we are going to learn in the uh, next videos together with this one uh, how you can compile and install GTK4 in your home system so that you cannot mess up your system uh, until GTK4 gets released uh, for your distribution as well where you can install it through your uh, favorite package manager. That being said, uh, the most important information which you need to know at this point it is that Linux Mint version which was released the last one it is called Linux Mint 20.1 you Lisa F and if I go here and uh, how, how is a LSB released minus a it would say that I have it as you already notice okay now the important thing which is uh, which you need to know it is that um, at this point we need to take care about some um, important things uh, compiling and installing GTK4 includes updating all this information which uh, at least uh, Linux Mint 20.1 doesn't provide you those versions uh, which uh, GTK4 need them so we, are, we will have to uh, compile every uh, library like uh, you see them here in every uh, tutorial which are coming so this means we will have like one let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven videos why i'm doing that because it is a long story but keep the, keeping in them in a short um, explanation per video it will be much more uh, easier for us so the first thing which we need uh, we are going to create um, um, script which is called uh, check environment which print us all the time the in environment information which we are setting it and another one or at least it doesn't have to be a script uh, where we basically set those environment every time when we open our terminal or we are not going to save it um, that information in our profile because like I said we are not going to mess up our system there are people which they are not 100% uh, sure about the story so we are going to keep it simple anyway let's see the first thing first um, I have the environment information information right here which means uh, we need to create the check environment um, script first so like as you see I'm using nano home check environment and dot sh and here I'm going to pass this information don't uh, uh, don't worry about this information because I'm going to add it in the description as well but basically this one help us to print all the information which it store uh, and where are needed okay that being said uh, next thing we need to uh, make it executable like calling gh mode uh, plus x and then the path to the script once that we have it we can then run it so I'm going to say home and then no I'm not going to type again I'm going to copy all this information so uh, okay I, I need to remove those things because at this point it is missing yes the dollar sign sorry guys anyway as you can see this is the way how this script works it is printing you the information which is uh, available for your profile at this point only the pad and the xdg data uh, directories but not other information which we needed the pack package config um, and the libraries um, uh, headers and so on, includes all those information now the next thing which we need we need to create the environment uh, which basically sets this information for us uh, so I'm going to 
clean it. I'm going to run again this one just because I want to show you the difference. And now, uh, by calling nano on home set environment, we are creating this information with what do I have here. Again, I'm going to post it in the description. But this information basically it is setting uh, to our home user where the information will be created. Basically, we are going to create uh, uh, two folders, the temporary and the U USR folder, folder in our home folder, where we'll be put the GTK4 and we are pointing all this information so that knows where the library, those files, those headers and so on, uh, they are found, the same one from the glib and so on. Okay, so I'm going to save it. Now the next thing which we need, we need to call all the time when you open your terminal. I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, you need to, uh, to call source and then past or better say and then you call this one. Now I'm going to hit enter and next thing which we need to do, we need to call again. Uh, okay, not like that. I'm going to copy just to be sure that you understand. I'm going to copy it. And now watch what happens when I call the check environment again. As you can see, everything got set and our, our, um, um, our uh, bash uh, script uh, works fine and uh, we, uh, as you can see, we got done all those information which we needed when we start to compile uh, those libraries together with GTK4. Now, the important thing of this information, it is that it, once that you close the terminal, let me show you, and you open it again, every time you will have to do it. If you call now check environment, you see it doesn't have something to uh, set, which means if you try to compile something and you don't set the environment first, you will have problems by finding uh, those information which those um, libraries needed. So, which means you need to call again source on home set environment and then once that you call it, you have that information and then you can move on and, uh, or better say you can proceed to installing GTK4 together with those libraries. That being said, I'm going to stop right now guys because this is the introduction uh, which was very very important for you to understand it uh, that you need to get the environment uh, all the time which means every time when you open your terminal you will have to set the environment before you start working. You will see in every video I'm going to do the same thing. That being said, until next video, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors and until next time, see you guys.